What made the popular kid at school the unpopular kid? When school started. She was so popular she could hang out with anyone in any kind of friend group. She was that beautiful. Social. Athletic blonde girl. Then. She began hanging out with me. The 16 years old handicapped girl walking slowly with a wooden cane like an old woman. She instantly got unpopular. But still decided to stick around. And we made our own group of friends. 10 years later. She's a popular jeweler in my old town. And still as beautiful. Funny and kind as ever. He thought it would be cool to bring a loaded BB gun to school and got the cops called on him by another student. My partner likes to tell the story of how she became the unpopular kid at school. She was about 6 stroke 7. So primary 2 here in the UK. And a trend kicked off in her class of eating dog biscuits. All the kids were stealing dog biscuits from home and eating them at break time. Unfortunately. She didn't have a dog. And just had to eat normal human biscuits at school. She was ostracized every break time for it. Peer pressure is weird sometimes. One of the kids at our school lived with his grandma cause his parents died. Dickhead and a group of his mates started harassing the old lady whenever she came to pick him up. Principal was reported this and they ended up getting expelled altogether. She made fun of a girl with cancer. Made a joke like. Why don't you ask your mom to buy you a wig? I can see your scalp. And overnight. She was the least liked person in school. And 100% deserved it. He recorded himself shoving carrots. Cucumbers. And a bottle of hot sauce up his ass in the back of a van. The van makes this exponentially worse. He started calling a bunch of kids the N word and his life just went downhill from there. His girlfriend dumped him and moved away to a private school so he started sending videos of him jacking off to the other popular girls in school. A popular guy in my year pissed himself during an exam in our gym hall. Unfortunately for him the biggest asshole in our year was sitting directly behind him. He immediately stood up and yelled p pissed himself. He proceeded to get teary eyed and say it's my energy drink. It spilled over and over before the exam supervisor literally dragged him out of the hall. Two weeks later he returned to school the unpopular kid and kept a low profile for a while until it eventually died down and he climbed the social ranks once more. That is until an episode of The Inbetweeners, a popular TV show in the UK, aired in which one of the main characters shts himself in the exam hall and it reminded everyone of what happened effectively nuking his popularity all over again. A guy at my school got drunk at a party. Got naked and inserted his penis into a Jim Beam bottle and ran around all crazy like with it attached but not having to use his hands. At the time it was quite a laugh but it wasn't until a day or so later people thought about how small the opening was to a Jim Beam bottle. That was basically the end of him. And thus the legend of Slim Jim was born. She stopped handing out free skittles. Rip skittle girl's reputation. Having a set of keys given to him by the school, WTF. I know, because he was one of the really popular kids. To be fair the school got what was coming by giving keys to a student. There was one kid in my class who was the son of our maths teacher. He was crazy popular because he was able to help everyone out with their homework for that class. Turns out he was actually snooping through his dad's notes to get the answers. The teacher naturally got super suspicious after a while. So he deliberately made a fake answer sheet. Of course. The kid grabbed it and noted it all down. It was full of wrong answers so blatant that anyone who even slightly paid attention in class would know they were way off base. The kid handed out the answers anyway. And in an instant made about half the class bomb. And his popularity dropped like a rock as they all accused him of deliberately making them fail. They moved him to another class and they never had an incident of cheating again. People found out he was killing animals in super f ked up ways. Held a dog underwater until it drowned. Ran over a cat with a lawnmower. Used baseball bats and machetes. Dude was doing some serial killer level stuff. Now he's in the army. Oh boy do I feel protected. 
when everyone found out he was jerking off to science teacher, she, in the class, along with his friends. This was 8th grade. Crystal meth. The kid had cancer. Was super cool while he was doing chemo. Cancer went into remission and he became a total douche. I hear chemo can affect a person permanently in many ways. He shared his dick pic. It was reportedly really small. He was arrested his junior year for arping his 8 year old sister. He didn't get a Sega Dreamcast but I did so I became the popular kid. He accidentally stabbed and blinded, in one eye, the nicest kid in the school by throwing a stick at him. The kid that was blinded grew up to be super successful and is now married. With a baby on the way. So the price of success is an eye. Guy wasn't necessarily the popular kid but it wasn't a big school so everyone knew everyone. I think between 9th and 10th grade he was found alone in his car behind the local arcade beating off. He was called Thumper from that day forward. No idea what happened after graduation but he has to have some bad memories of those years. Started straight up lying to teachers to get people in trouble. Don't know how he thought that was gonna work out. Edit. He shti his pants. I remember a guy at my school kept on asking to use the restroom. And the teacher kept refusing. Eventually. He went up to a trash can. Dropped trow. And took a shti. This was middle school. But nevertheless. Folks remember it to this day. When he was caught taking up skirt photos of girls in school and sending them to his friends. His popularity went from hero to zero is a split second. He fked his friend's mom at a party. Let's call popular kid day and his friend B. B's mom was arrested, as she should have been, and B faced torment from basically everyone that knew what happened. Kid A continued to brag about his actions. Eventually people gained sympathy for B and Kid A lost his popularity real fast. A girl in my school fingered herself with Kit Kat in the dining hall and then ate it. This guy at my table would play the no one likes me I'm the center of attention now card. As in he would fake sadness for attention redirecting conversation and drawing the energy from a room. Like the kid who won't be friends with you anymore because you wore the same color shirt. He was quite wealthy too and would rub it in your face. He teased my best friend for being built like a Mack truck. She picked him up and put him upside down in the garbage can. He lost any coolness he had. Edit. Trading a Cherizard card for a Ratata. He apparently fked his dog. A girl I went to school with did that. She was extremely vocal about it too. She got pregnant and the school wide joke was she was expecting puppies. Rape. He was at a graduation party that I had the misfortune to attend. And his ex, who was also there, was asleep on the couch. He took her upstairs to get her away from all the noise. Five minutes later we hear a scream and a get off of me. She comes running downstairs. Frantically pulling up her pants. And runs out. She told us what happened after a few days. The guy heard and tried to break into her house. He's in prison for assault and battery. He gave her a black eye while he was. Upstairs. Rape. And breaking and entering. She's in therapy. Throw a hockey stick. Hollow ended. Into the special needs kid's eye socket. He claimed it was accidentally only. But was caught bragging about it on his snapchat story. He then said. His words not mine. He doesn't have any hope though. So what does it matter the kid needed surgery that his parents had to pay for. As it was cosmetic. The kid moved to a cheaper schools a week later. He tindered next to his girlfriend. Who everyone liked. He didn't exactly become unpopular but my high school's star quarterback recorded a video of himself fingering his butt and he sent it to a girl in a neighboring school district. The video got passed around there and made its way back into our school and he got socially vibe checked. But he didn't really lose his popularity. It was just sort of lessened and he actually became a way better person after the fact. 
he still never learned that you can throw bullets when playing indoor football in gym class against non-football players though. They screamed racist insults and yelled at everyone for doing the tiniest, littlest things that aren't annoying. Not exactly popular, more like the king of the assholes. But he had a project in mind. Bully the newcomer to get some fresh fame for his butt apostles. The target. A Greek exchange student. Nice guy but quite a beaty boy. 150 plus kilos. And a wrestler. I watched, no f king way I was getting in the middle of a bitch slap tornado, and my regret as of today is the lack of camera smartphones back then. Bully CNT got his jaw broken, and lost 5 frontal teeth. Dislocated shoulder and 3 fractured ribs. Legally speaking. He only defended himself and also played his defense on his weight. Blaming the bully of making him lose his balance and by doing so. Fell on him, it's not entirely false. Dut. Bully CNT got back 2 months later. Still suffering from his injuries. Shunned by his previous peers. Stayed about 2 weeks and then never came back. There was an Asian girl who was well liked by everyone. Smart. Happy to help anyone struggling in class and was generally a nice person but her uncle scammed out at people in her community. Including parents of kids that went to our school. FCK that uncle. When being fast wasn't good enough anymore. He tried to coerce his then girlfriend, both of them were 14 at the time, to have sx. When that didn't work and the girl told everyone he played the victim and threatened to kill himself. Which of course he didn't. I stood up for the teacher with, at the time, terminal cancer when everyone was teasing bullying her, cancer made her a bit more positive. Live life to fullest why and she was pretty childish actually great for elementary school children but my class was one degree away from feral at the time. I was no longer popular. She was super nice and by some miracle beat the cancer. He punched the autistic kid then proceeded to get jumped by every single guy that saw him in school for the next week until his parents had him switch schools. Super fked up. But this girl I went to grade school with was a victim of a house fire. She was pretty and popular with all the kids in first and second grade. After the fire she was left with a lot of scarred tissue. In third grade. All the kids turned on her and called her names. Wouldn't sit next to her. Or share things we needed in class. I actually got to know her better that year as she was my class valentine. She was the same person as before. Apparently he fked his cat. And that's how Rocky got the nickname Sparkles for the rest of his junior and senior year. I didn't fck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. I've never done anything weird with my cats. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after last year's thing so I'm just trying to be as short and honest with this as possible. 1. There was a girl who was really popular and then she got pregnant and had an abortion and one of her shtty friends told other people and then everyone called her a SLT and started rumors like saying she got the abortion because her dad could have been one of 10 different guys. It was awful. Got really into astrology. Gemini. Virgo. Cancer. Comma kept on hitting, assaulting, people with a metal bottle. And was in general just an asshole that only like. 7 people tolerated. I follow her on Instagram and all her stories are memes about astrology. It's the Instagram equivalent of Facebook minion memes. A mum got into an argument with a parish priest and forced her daughter to lie to the police about him molesting her when she was an altar girl. All over some memorial that the mother didn't agree with. The plan worked since the local archdiocese was forced to transfer him to another parish. But it was quickly proven the girl was being forced to lie by the police. The girl's reputation didn't take that much of a hit during school. But her mum became a social pariah across multiple parishes since the priest was a patron to the local high school and a lot of people respected him. The girl was seriously screwed. However, her parents wanted her to become a solicitor or barrister and I think they made her take law in A level. But since the mum made her lie to the police. She is a documented liar which bars her from enrolling into a legal course in the UK. 
Chia peda guy. He threw a watermelon at a black kid's house. When she made fun of me in front of everyone. For wearing a yellow shirt to school. It was just a plain yellow shirt and she somehow found a way to mock the color. It was so unnecessary. And made her look like someone who was just rude for no reason. Everyone quickly realized that she thought people were automatically on her side cause she was somewhat rich. And she just became a joke after that. Everyone else graduated. Edit. Thanks for the gold award. I went to an all girls school and there was an all boys school about 5 minutes walk away. When I was in my final year the school vice captain of the boys school. Was dating one of our grade leaders. Both being 17 and not very smart she eventually got pregnant. She dropped out. And pretty much everyone who knew him at our school hated him. Prior to that. He was very well liked. I thought it was a bit ridiculous honestly. He wasn't really popular but he took an upskirt of a girl sitting behind him and tried showing it to people. A girl came out and said the popular kid arped her while she was unconscious after a night of heavy drinking. They were close friends and after that all their friends and a lot of other people stopped talking to him. Police and the school got involved and everything was weird for a while. Edit. He s sorely assaulted one of the most liked girls in the school. And after legal action took place. And he came back to school. Nobody spoke to him. Nobody acknowledged him. He played soccer. And so the school let him stay. For some fking reason. If they wouldn't give him justice. We all decided to. My girlfriend told everyone how small my penis was. I hated this kid but apparently the rest of the school loved him. He was freshman class president. And legit looked and acted like a politician even at 18. This is college. Then he got drunk and ran over two girls walking back from a party. And to ice the cake he stopped and called the cops himself. But then started fighting the EMTs when they arrived. Somehow he only did two years. And came back to school. His family had a lot of money. But we all knew by then how it went down. He was not well received when he returned to campus. I don't think he has a future in politics. Think he even ended up transferring schools because even the professors hated him when he came back. Reverse story. Unpopular kid. Computer nerd kind but damn he was good at programming. Never had a date and was an outcast. End of his senior year the class gives out awards. Most likely to succeed like that. He wins the most likely to die a virgin award. He goes up. Grabs the mic and says he would like to thank all the girls that made this possible. Instant legend. I was relatively popular. I was in JV basketball. Marching band. Mathletes. And track and pretty much made friends with everyone. Until my best friend at the time claimed I pushed her down the stairs and caused her to have surgery on both legs. Thing is. I was at my grandmother's funeral in another state the entire week she claimed it happened. While the teachers kept us apart and understood my side. None of the others really believed me. Except the anime club. They believed me. Go weebs. Only the anime club believes in top 10 anime betrayals in real life. The pastiest white girl at my school was recorded saying the N word. He had a kid. She first got her SLTTY reputation and then got terrible acne. Went from cute chili the girl to pariah. I felt sorry for her. Stopped coming to school. Didn't even do her exams in the end. Just sat at home and smoked weed all the time. Didn't even work. She just got boyfriends who would pay for everything for her. Became spiritual. Got the Hindu symbol OM tattooed on her finger. Got dreadlocks. Etc. Posted weird photos on her Instagram. It's hard to explain but she just sort of became. Weird. I once heard her talking to a bunch of 13 year olds about how her boyfriend just got out of prison. Question mark? She also always spoke about wanting to have a baby. This weed smoking. Non-working. 18 year old girl wanted a child. In the end nobody in my school even spoke to her anymore. 
Even her friends didn't like her much because she was sort of a bitch. She was popular because she was super pretty and smart. It's sad. She obviously has no direction in her life. Her only qualifications are the exams we did when we were 15. Her brother and sister were still in the school. They were really nice and basically the opposite to her. I hope they do well. I had a college professor who would say high school is the best period in the life of stupid people.